Uh, my suitcase. My suit. Thank you. Woo. Close one. <laughs> thing is, this thing just has a mind of it. How are you doing? That's my friend right there. Morning! Morning, fellow sir. Dude, I'm broken. Uh, welcome to 368. I'm gonna go get some breakfast. Okay. And coffee. Give me a coffee? Sure. Today's a travel day. Today is uh, 368 on the road. I, I had an idea. Huh. Backpack. It's like a it's like a skateboard suitcase. Oh my god. Okay, all right. Off to the off to the airport. Whoa. Come and take me to the airport. Come and for me yeah. on that plane. Oh Still working out the kinks, Dan. Where's the coffee? We just got a sandwich. How you doing? We're going to LaGuardia Airport. All right. Now we're back at the... Hey, wait. It's the first time 368's been to the airport. Now we're at the airport. Bro, your skateboard's falling out. One to ten. What are your odds of getting in trouble because you don't have an American passport? Dude, probably nine out of ten, ten out of ten. I can't believe you booked me a ticket without even checking if I need a visa. Yay for Canada, the visa? No. No? Okay. Canada.ca slash ETA. Okay. So yeah, he needs a visa and our flight's in ten minutes. Thank you. Dude, this is 368, I mean. <laughs> Just wing it. <laughs> <laughs> Occupation, what I said. 368 squad. 368 squad. He's checking the status of his uh, visa application now, but the flight board's in like 15 minutes. It's approved. Come on. Yes. Then they approved. Yes. Yeah. Do you think they'll let me through with this suitcase? Well, depending on what's inside. Well, it's got a motor on it. You know what, around Christmas time last year, we weren't allowing those, but I think now it should be okay. All right, that's good to hear. Thank you. Okay, uh, it actually, we made it through security with the backpack. I'll see you at the gate, man. I'll see you at the gate, bro. <laughs> Something happens where it like just stops rolling. Oh no, the camera broke. Oh. Yeah, you fell pretty hard. So this is what happened to my camera when I fell. No image comes through on the screen. Like it's on right now and there's no image on the screen. Not ready to give a conclusive review about the motorized backpack, but so far, a mixed experience. <laughs> when out on the street today, the Canadian dream was as far away as it's ever been. As it's Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Montreal. We have arrived. When out on the street today, the Canadian dream. See you later, thank you. Where do you get a taxi? Is the battery pack? <laughs> Rental car? We 
are in Montreal in Canada. I'm here for work commitment, like a, a speaking engagement that I had scheduled a long time ago. But because Dan's in town, I was like, hey, come to Canada. But there's literally like 20 minutes of free time throughout the entire day in between my work commitment and then us being on the first flight back to New York City. We we'll just have to make the most of it, right? Yeah, dude, let's do it. Okay, this is about it. I have like 25 minutes before I need to be at the event center, but this is like the work part of this trip. Lunch first? It is so cold in Canada. It's freezing. Lunch first? Lunch first. Okay, let's go. That was like a millimeter from hitting the ground. Oh, nice <laughs> is that a good that was a good catch? Oh you got it on video. Alright. This I'm is gonna, very uncomfortable. I'm gonna go do my talk now, Dan's gonna sleep here or on the nearest couch that he can find. I'm gonna leave the camera with you. How'd you guys like those nachos? How to fake like you are nice and caring. Okay, I finished my talk. It went really well. This is the room that I was in before the talk. Dan stayed in here during the talk. Dan? Look how ridiculous this balloon is. <laughs> Dan, what are you what are you doing? I thought you were sleeping under a table. I have no idea why Casey flew me here with him. I'm almost done. Have you been holding down the fort? No, dude, I've just been sleeping. <laughs> Flight leaves in three hours and twenty-seven minutes. I'm super jealous with all these people Casey's hanging out with. He's spending no time with me. It's right there. <laughs> the red rocket. There it is. Right there. That's it. <laughs> Dan is like dude. Dan and his, and his oh. Ouch. 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 <laughs> Are you okay? I've had the greatest time. <laughs> <laughs> The conclusion on the comprehensive review, ah, uh, well, the concept, the concept I give an A plus to. Right out of the bag, A plus. I want this in every airport I go to. The execution, uh, well, it sort of feels like a rough draft. They have a little bit of ways to go before this becomes like a practical and safe means of getting around airport. But overall, I think it's a pretty great little idea. All right, so that's kind of probably it for the episode today. We're both pretty beat up. Do you want to end it with like a See what I'm dealing with. Downtown, please. Oh. And uh, we're home. I'm a traveling man, made a lot of stops all over the world. On tomorrow's episode of 368.